Hi, I'm Pete Monfrey, and this is your Moment of Clarity. I've run across many companies that use the term prospect sort of loosely. Usually it means anybody with a pulse. Now I admit that's kind of an exaggeration, but too often companies spend far too much time and treasure pursuing so-called prospects that will never buy and likely don't have any interest in moving forward. In this moment of clarity, I'll show you how I categorize potential customers so you can better identify who's worth your time to pursue. The path I define for conversion is suspect, prospect, qualified prospect, and then customer. A suspect is someone who fits your client profile. For example, one of your client profiles might be uh, CEOs of electronics manufacturers with between 100 and 500 million in revenue in the continental United States. Whatever your criteria, there are a certain number of people in your market that fit that profile, but you don't know much more about them than that. In other words, do they have a problem you can solve? Are they in a buying cycle? And many more. I call these people suspects. I recommend my clients identify as many suspects as possible and have their complete contact information in a database. And I call this the universe of suspects. A prospect is someone who's shown interest in what you do or is known to be in a buying cycle. It's a minimum level of qualification above suspect. Usually the next step with a prospect is to have a business conversation to learn more about their problems, where they are in their buying process, budget, and, and all those details. Only after this information is gathered and analyzed can the prospect go to the next level, which is commonly called the qualified prospect. A qualified prospect is one that has a need, and they're aware of this need, they have the authority to buy, they have a sense of urgency about making a buying decision, and they have a level of trust with your company, and most importantly, they have the budget to buy. Now, I've developed scoring systems for clients to further segment these qualified prospects to determine the optimum level of resource to invest in each segment. For example, a prospect that has indicated a need, has urgency and budget, but is only one of several people that need to sign off, would get a lower score than someone with the same level of qualification, but who can actually make the decision. The evolution from suspect to prospect to qualified prospect to customer is by its nature a linear process. Marketing produces qualified prospects from the universe of suspects. Sales ideally should be focused completely on qualified prospects. I mean, wouldn't you rather spend your valuable resources talking to people that can actually buy? I know I would. 